Kim Jong-un has officially won re-election in North Korea. Now, this comes after a, this election was held in North Korea in which the Supreme Leader was elected to the highest legislative body without a single dissenting vote. North Koreans went to the polls on Sunday to approve the new roster of deputies for the Supreme People's Assembly, the country's legislature. The results that for the other seats in the assembly had not been yet announced, but North Korea's media quickly reported that Kim had won his d district located on the symbolic Mount uh, Pikdu with a unanimous vote. Now, the reason being is that there was nobody else on the vote. Now, a lot of Western back people will basically say that while well, this is his grip on, you know, his him holding his grip on power, this is him, you know, solidify, you know, just trying to justify and solidify his rule. No, in Mount Pekdu area, the Kim Dynasty are basically seen as the founders, the sole, they're basically seen as the Vladimir Lenins of North Korea, and so essentially the Kim, the Kim family are pretty much, you know, seen as very popular and are pretty much well loved in those particular regions of North Korea. So it should come as no surprise that they would want him as their candidate and why no one else decided to run against him because they know damn well they aren't going to stand a chance in this election. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that North Korea is actually a democratic state in S in essence, it, it has aspects of democratic socialism. It has a very unique aspect in which they do have the Social Democratic Party and I believe also a Christian Democratic Party that all are part of the, the Democratic like Alliance of the Fatherland or something like that. And anyway, this, so yes, in a sense, you could consider it a single party state if you wanted to, but in essence, the actual, it, in essence, these different political parties actually form the function of the Supreme People's Assembly. They keep North Korea running. Now, yes, the Workers' Party of Korea is obviously what continues on the progress of North Korea. It is what has been dominant in North Korea for, you know, 60 some odd years. So, but it is not a, it's not a dictatorship in that essence. It's not this oppressive regime as a lot of people want to make it out to be. Could it have a lot of other things that could actually, that it could work on in the name of socialism? You bet your ass there could be. But North Korea is actually more going along back to the line of a socialist path. They are currently right now Kim Jong Un's whole thing is to basically get rid of Song Gong ideology, the militarist policy that they've had in place since 1994, as that was part of the whole reason of basically ousting his and killing his uncle this past December, because members of the military and his uncle being one of those high-ranking leaders was trying to form a coup and essentially form North Korea into this militarist dictatorship and actually turn it towards a capitalist path. And since Kim Jong-un is actually wanting to go back to the socialist path, he truly actually has done what was right in getting rid of his uncle. So, and right now other counter-revolutionaries are being, being looked at and will be obviously found, tried, and convicted. Now, what the whole issue was is that this is that right now North Korea is in a transition period. It is actually trying to remove military from those positions of power and actually bring them back to the to the pre-1994 ways that they were at. So they are actually trying to bring the country back to the Juche ideology towards the socialist ideology and actually phasing out the military and putting local civilian elected officials back into those positions of power. So this is actually a systematic and interesting move that North Korea is doing and that we really do hope makes it makes a big success out of it. 
Because if North Korea can achieve this, if Kim Jong-un can achieve this, North Korea could actually become the first actual communist state in the world. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.